Have you ever had the urge to pick up your wife and carry her through an obstacle course? Or throw fruit at your neighbor? How about sticking your hands in gloves full of ants to prove your manhood? No? Well, these are just a few of many fascinating customs worldwide. And while they might sound very odd to us, most of these traditions happen for a reason. Some are for sharing good luck. Some are for the love of beer. Regardless, I'm Mike with List25, and I promise you'll love hearing about these 25 weird and crazy traditions from around the world. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content. Check us out on social medias. Let's go. Twenty-five, Famadihana, Madagascar. This tradition happens twice a year, in July and September, and it's observed in honor of loved ones who've passed on. Participants unbury their dead, rewrap their bodies in a clean cloth, and ask for blessings. There's apparently also quite a bit of rum and dancing involved. Some even dance with the deceased. Twenty-four, Garawal Festival, Wilda Abe Tribe. There are several beauty competitions worldwide to evaluate and judge a woman's beauty and talent. However, in the Wodaabe tribe, men must wear fancy clothes and prove their value. It's more than a pageant, though, as it's more of a courtship practice. 23. National Hollerin' Contest, North Carolina, USA We use the term holler often enough in English, but this competition takes it to the next level. Traditionally, hollering was a way to communicate over long distances before phones were standard in every household. <laughs> it's more than simply yelling, more like a cross between a yodel and a shout. Participants practice with vocal exercises and train. If you're good at it, you can join the National Hollering Contest in Spivy's Corner, North Carolina, every summer. This competition has been happening since 1969. 22. Wife Carrying, Finland Luckily for the wives, this wild event is separate from the boot-tossing competition I'll get to later. Husbands participate by carrying their wife or other female partner through an obstacle course in order to test their strength. While the origin of the sport is unclear, it's worth noting that the victor wins his wife's weight in beer. There's lots of fun to be had surrounding the event, including karaoke and costume contests for the couples participating. 21. La Mordida, Mexico this Mexican holiday tradition involves something quite different than blowing out candles. Those celebrating their special day have had their hands tied behind their back, and then they take a bite out of the cake with their mouth, only to have their mouth shoved into the cake <laughs> while guests shout, Mordida! Mordida! Which means, take a bite! Take a bite! 20. Roqueta Palomos, Greece Usually churches celebrate Easter with an extra service, a special communion, or other religious observation. However, on the Greek island of Chios, their celebrations are a bit more eh, explosive. Two churches try to ring each other's bells by shooting a rocket. The winner is determined the next day by counting how many hits there were to the belfry. 19. The Mari Lloyd, Wales. This Welsh tradition happens around Christmas, dating back to the 19th century. Participants decorate a horse's skull mounted on a broomstick and drape the stick and themselves with a sheet. They then knock on people's door to sing and ask if they can come into the house. If the homeowners can't respond quickly, in rhyme to the Mari Lloyd, it comes into the house to raid your home for food and beer. 18. Chimbriada, Bosnia In Zeneca, Bosnia, they usher the spring season in in a very unique way. People go to the city rec center along the river at the break of dawn to have a big breakfast of scrambled eggs. They then spend the rest of the day relaxing, barbecuing, and hanging out at the park. 17. Boot Tossing, Finland Boot throwing, aka welly wanging, because of the specific boots used, is said to have originated in the 1970s, but the first official competition started in Finland in 1992. There's even an organization for the sport, the International Boot Throwing Competition. 16. Potterabend, Germany Are you feeling some pre-wedding jitters? Well, you might find the German tradition of Potterabend helpful to relieve some stress. Friends and family of the couple gather the day before the big celebration and smash things like plates, tiles, flower pots, and mugs right on the ground. As with many things on this list, it's said to bring good luck. So who cleans up the mess when it's all over? Well, a happy couple, of course. It's good preparation for working together as a couple in the future. I hope they don't do it barefoot. 15. Baby Jumping, Spain in Castrillo de Murcia, Spain, there is a festival that blesses the future of the babies born that previous year. 
But unfortunately, this blessing doesn't come in the form of nice words or gifts. It comes by having the devil jump over them. They lay the babies down on mattresses on the ground and participants literally jump over them. This is said to absorb the baby's sins and protect them from sickness and ill fortune. It's a tradition that started in the 1600s and there have been no reported injuries. 14, baby tossing, India. Speaking of babies, uh, also it's, it's worth mentioning that child rights activists managed to get this one banned in 2011. Uh, in some cities in India, there's a religious custom where they throw babies or young toddlers off the roof of 15 to 30 foot high temples. They're caught in blankets held out to see them below, but it's still a traumatic experience for the kids. The practice is said to bring good luck to the child. Probably the fact that they didn't hit the ground. There's your good luck. 13, cheese rolling. Gloucestershire, England. On Cooper's Hill in Gloucestershire, England, spring is celebrated epically by rolling big rounds of cheese down the super steep slope of the hill. Why? Well, theories on this tradition started to include pagan origins of bringing in a new year after the winter and a ritual to maintain grazing rights in the area. 12. Finger cutting, Indonesia. While everyone grieves differently, certain cultures have particular mourning rituals. Such is the case with the Dani tribe in Indonesia. When a woman loses someone they love, they amputate the top joint of a finger. First, they tie a string around the finger to cut off the circulation. Once it's numb, the family member will cut off the tip of the finger. It's then cauterized to stop the bleeding. 11. Hair Freezing Contest, Yukon, Canada. If you like to live on the wild side and don't mind the cold, the International Hair Freezing Contest in Canada might have to make its way onto your list of experiences. While temperatures outside can reach negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit, the hot springs make it a bearable swim. The cool part? Dunk your head in the hot springs and once you lift it out of the water, your hair freezes and now you just have a ton of icicles on your head. Awesome. 10. Cinnamon throwing, Denmark. Being single has its advantages. Being single and turning 25 still has advantages. But in Denmark, it comes at a price. If you're still single when that special birthday comes, it's customary to have cinnamon thrown on you after you've been splashed with water. Enjoy the cinnamon though, but of course, if you're still single at 30, the spice of choice is black pepper. Nine, tooth filing, Bali. In Bali, smooth teeth symbolize control over sinful emotions such as lust, jealousy, greed, and anger. Because of this belief, both men and women have their teeth filed as a preparation for marriage and a rite of passage into adulthood. Ah, oh, just reading that made my mouth hurt. Mm-mm, mm-mm, nothing, mm-mm, mm-mm. Ooh, my teeth hurt now. Great. Ah, uh, nope. Eight, consuming the dead, Amazon rainforest. In the Amazon rainforest near Venezuela and Brazil, the Yanomami tribe strongly believes that no physical parts of the body should remain, or the spirit might not rest. You might immediately think of cremation, and you'd be correct. However, the Yanomami take it one step further by adding the ashes to a plantain soup that the family of the deceased drinks. Not only is the soul now at peace, but it's also living with its loved ones. 7. Coconut Skull Smashing, India Nothing like a good superstition, am I right? In southern India, Hindu practitioners will go into a temple to have a priest smash a coconut on their head and then walk away as if nothing happened. Why? Because that's how to ask the gods for success and health. Despite warnings of the danger of this practice, it's something that's been going on since the colonial period. 6. Bullet Ant Gloves, Saterimawe Tribe Cultures worldwide certainly have some exciting ways to define what it means to be a man. I mean, I was bar mitzvahed. The young men in the Amazonian tribe of Saterimawe prove their manhood by sticking their hands in mitts containing bullet ants. First, of course, they have to keep the gloves on for 10 minutes, and this tradition is held multiple times throughout a man's life. Bullet ants have one of the most painful bites. They are called bullet ants because their bites are said to feel like you're being hit with a bullet. Five. Monkey Festival, Thailand. In Thailand, residents roll out a feast for a king at the Praprang Songyok Temple in the city of Lopuri. Only this party is for the macaque monkeys. The people of Lopuri cherish the thousands of these primates that live in the area as they are said to bring good luck. Piles of fruits and veggies are put out for the monkeys to enjoy, 
and there are dances by performers in monkey costumes. 4. Orange Battle, Italy In the city of Ivrea, Italy, people dress up in battle gear, split into nine teams, and throw oranges at each other, trying to knock each other out. It's not quite to the scale of La Tomatina, which we'll get to, but it's still pretty epic. This Battle of the Oranges happens every year on the three days before Mardi Gras. 3. La Tomatina, Spain You've possibly heard of audience members of old throwing rotten fruit at performers who do a terrible job. However, have you heard of the Buñol, Spain festival where they throw tomatoes at each other? For fun? La Tomatina happens each year on the last Wednesday in August and lasts for a whole week. Many theories exist on how this festival became such a time-honored tradition since 1945. However, it's still celebrated to honor the town's patron saints. Luis Bertrand and the Mare de Dieu de Desemparats, Mother of God of the Defenseless, aka the Virgin Mary. 2. Tai Pusang, India, Southeast Asia. This Hindu festival celebrates the victory of Lord Morugan over an evil spirit. How do they celebrate? Well, they pierce themselves with sharp objects all over their bodies. Usually going into a deep trance is involved. 1. Postnuptial Bathroom Ban. Indonesia. There are many ways to celebrate getting married. Gifts, parties, blessings, not going to the bathroom for three days. Wait, what? Well, in Indonesia, the Tidong community bans newlyweds from using the bathroom for three days after their wedding. Family members watch over them to ensure they keep the tradition intact. Breaking the tradition is said to bring bad luck to their marriage, like death or financial hardship. So, what are some other traditions you know of around the world? Or what are some traditions you partake in that others might find a little different or weird? Weird is not always bad, just so you know. Uh, like I said before, let us know in the comments below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, check out our social medias and everything like that. Thank you guys so much, and as always, I'll see you next time. Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.